At Blur, we try to rely as much as we can on people's talent, but the reality is that we also depend on numerous content creation applications. We try not to limit our artists to a specific package, but instead use the right tool for the right job. The result for us was different departments working with different softwares, and as great as these applications can be, the reality is that a lot of development is necessary to transform repetitive and time-consuming tasks into single-click actions. So we started making tools for these packages. It worked, but we rapidly ended up with a very uncohesive environment. Maybe Soft Image could only export point caches, while Max could only import them. The user interfaces would have to be maintained individually and would end up looking and behaving differently. All this was confusing for the artists and time-consuming for the developers. So when things started to look bleak, we took a step back and figured, what if there was only one tool that worked for all softwares, and how do we achieve that? Part of the answer was Python and Qt. But what was the next step? The first solution that comes to mind is to add tons of conditional statements into the tools themselves. If Max, do this. If Maya, do that. This sounds like it could work, but quickly your code is transforming into a maze of if statements. Moreover, what will happen when you add a new software to your belt? Well, good luck rewriting all your tools. By essence, it is not a scalable solution. So what if we did this? That's abstraction, and we call it Cross 3D. The idea is an API which defines a common interface for all software's native SDKs. The result allows you to code tools that work in all implemented packages. You can see how adding a software to your pipeline is now relatively smooth, since only the layer for that package has to be coded for tools to work. Now, of course, abstraction presents its difficulties, especially when the goal is to get the best of all applications. Nevertheless, tackling these conceptual disparities between softwares and finding ways to unify them is a much more interesting exercise than duplicating and maintaining code. It is the opportunity to think about problems in a more abstract way and augment the capabilities of each individual software. We have yet to find a concept we needed and could not abstract. To a certain extent, everyone in the industry wants the same thing. Therefore, through its very general approach, we believe Cross3D would be useful to anyone. And as much as our code can be useful to your project, we believe that yours would be useful to ours. Maybe you'll implement a new package, or maybe you'll add new features to an existing one. It is to enable these opportunities that we decided to make the project open source and available on GitHub. Check it out at github.com slash blurstudio slash cross3d.